Big 198, it was an adjuvant trial. We took over what had started as a company trial, made it an academically led trial, and conducted it successfully with many thousands of patients. We accrued them from treatment centres all over the world and got some very interesting answers that still apply to the selection of treatments in many of these patients. The basic endocrine treatment that was used in those days was a drug called tamoxifen. Along came a new generation of drugs called the aromatase inhibitors, of which we tested a drug called letrozole. And we wanted to work out where the new drugs should fit in and for which women. We decided that we could design it for them in such a way to answer two questions. Is one drug better than the other? And is the sequence of one uh, followed by the other better? Trying to improve the outcomes of, of people with metastatic breast cancer. And on average, yes, the new treatments did. And what we discovered was that they're necessary for some and maybe not necessary for others. It's possible because you've got so many thousands of patients to look at questions of for which patients is it better to use one or the other. That I think was probably the biggest contribution that we made with Big 198 was to look at the risk factors of individual women entering the trial and say with this pattern of disease does it matter which you start with? And it turns out for about the lowest half of the risk spectrum, it didn't matter that tamoxifen alone was just as good as any of the other sequences or the straight new drug. With higher risk, it was better to include some of the new drug. And for the very highest risk, the best results were using the new drug alone. And one of the virtues of our study that showed that the sequence of administration is just as good as sticking with one drug is that if a woman isn't tolerating one drug, we can tell her that with very little, if or no, risk, you can switch to the other one. So that gives women a flexibility that we wouldn't have known about without the trial. A woman coming along with, with early breast cancer is mainly worried, will it come back? And we can reduce that risk of it coming back very substantially with any of these treatments. And we can tailor the treatment most appropriate according to our assessment of the individual risk that a woman has by learning from the results of trials like Big 198. We do get results that do make a difference to how we can best advise the next woman that comes through the door.